If you like to film your flights with a drone like this one, like the Cinelog 25 or even the Cinelog 30, you have noticed that you need a camera that is lightweight. In the market, there are a few of them. You have the Cadex Peanut, which was recently launched. You have another one, something called like Firefly or something like that. And then you have the most popular one because of the quality of the video, which is the GoPro. But the GoPro, as it is, it's too heavy for a drone like the Cinelog 25. And then what happens or what people do is that they turn a regular GoPro into what they call a naked GoPro. This is a naked GoPro made from a GoPro 6. In the case, by, F, by Beta FPV. Today, we're gonna get a GoPro 8 using the case from GEPRC and create a naked GoPro, but with the guts of a GoPro 8. That way, we're gonna make sure to have the best quality possible on our videos when using one of these drones. So follow me and let's strip down that GoPro 8 and get it into the new case. The first thing that we're gonna do is to go and check for GoPro Labs. Once we get to the page, we have to download the right package for the camera that we have. In this case, we have a Hero 8 Black. So we're gonna download that package and then it's just about to get the content of that file, the whole folder, and put it into an SD card. Now that we have the software downloaded for the GoPro Labs in the SD card, we're going to update the camera by inserting the SD card You will see this here, which means that it's updating. And this says that it's done. Now the camera is rebooting and we should have the GoPro Labs in. Let's test it. In order to test it, we need to create a QR code and it's just to go to this website, choose what you want to do and then this page is going to create the, the QR code that you can use. In my case, I printed to a, a piece of paper so I can show it on the camera, but you can have it on your phone or any other app and use it on the go. If you see here, my camera says 4K and I have printed a QR code that is going to modify that if it works. Now we see that it's in 1440. So GoPro Labs is working fine. So these cameras are full of glue and the, this piece around here, or this area around here is where most of the glue is. Therefore, we're gonna start opening it here, inserting my tool like this, and then trying to come in this direction and breaking the glue that is there after heating the camera. Don't forget to remove the battery the SD card and then this door we can remove it as well directly you want to be careful around this area here because you don't want to scratch or damage the screen therefore I'm trying to come in this way. With this tool I felt like I cut the glue so I should be kind of all the way down and that's why I recommend something you see that has some that is a little bit sharp so you can break the glue. Yay! You see how all this is glue? Underneath this glass, there are four screws 
in each corner and we're going to try to pry out the glass uh, so we can keep doing this. Don't forget to remove these four screws that are under the ears of the GoPro 8. When you can open the GoPro you have to be a little bit careful because everything is attached by ribbon cables and some other things that you don't want to break. You can now start removing the connectors with something like a plastic uh, tool or something that is soft and you are not going to break the, the cables. They are ribbon cables and they are fragile so you have to be a little bit careful. This black belt here is nothing special so you can remove it. If it breaks there is no problem, it's just kind of like a glue to hold things in place. And this one, this, this is the last one, the power. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to remove but uh, you can do it. Now we have the two pieces separate but I will keep this one like this. Even though there are several pieces inside that I could use like the GPS or the microphone. I'm gonna keep it like this just because it's the first GoPro 8 that I'm opening and you can always just connect the screen and use it if you need to do something special. I would say that the battery cage with the connector is also very important to keep intact because if we need to do an upgrade later, uh, the, the GoPro doesn't allow you to do an upgrade from USB or when, when power from USB and you will need that cage to connect to this board and then uh, power to upgrade it. Let's work on the motherboard and just unscrew it from the original plate. We need to unplug the lens and the sensor from the motherboard so we can remove both pieces. And here again, being careful with the plastic tool, remove these two connectors. Now we can deattach the motherboard from the GoPro. Here you see the motherboard. And in order to remove the camera, we have to remove this screw and this other screw that is underneath the cable, the ribbon cable of the lens. At this point I should be able to remove the lens. Now we have the motherboard and the lens, which are the two most important parts. We need to remove the front screen now. The front screen is also glue on the edges of the screen. So we're going to warm it up with the heat gun and then try to pry it out with some soft tool. You have to be careful, you see I broke it a little bit there. But um, hopefully it's going to be good enough. We have the three parts that we need the lens and the gyro, the motherboard and the front screen. Now let's put it in the case. We're going to start with the lens. It goes here. We have to put in place the front screen and the Gepard C case has something that is pretty nice that it brings this uh, double face tape that you can put around the case in order to support the front screen. We want to get a little bit of this tape around here in order to isolate the screen. Now we can insert the motherboard here. This is the back that we're going to connect to the motherboard so it can give power to the GoPro. This one too has some connectors that are going to insert in the motherboard. 
So we have to align them and make sure that they click. You feel when they click, you feel when they when they are inserted. So, and, and I think this is where you have to be very careful. Make sure that everything is connected because it's, a, it's the typical mistake that the, the, the camera doesn't turn on or something and it's because it's not making good contact. So it's four millimeters on these two screws and six on this one, this one, this one, and this one. You feel that the, the card, the motherboard and the back, they fit well and they stay in the case pretty well as well. So now let's just close it. Now it's ready. Well, here you have the whole process of stripping down the GoPro 8 and put it into a new case, in this case, the GEPRC case. Hopefully this is something that you find useful and thank you for watching and see you soon. Mm -hmm.